Hey everyone, what is going on? I am KL Frank or KLF or Frank, whatever you want to call me, and I am finally back. It has been 11 long months since my last video on my KL gaming channel. I've even gone undergone a redesign, I think, since then. But yes, I am back in my full glory. I, I, I actually wouldn't say that, but we are working with City Skylines here. I love City Builders. I have heard a lot about this game, and I want to dive right into it. But this video is showing you a little bit about the Asset Editor. So as you can see, clicking on Tools on the main menu brings up the Map Editor or the Asset Editor. We're going to go ahead and uh, pick the Temperate Climate. And what the Asset Editor is, uh, in, a, in a nutshell, is it allows you to take currently existing things in the game and edit them make new ones. This game is all about the customization, all about the modding, and that's something that um, Colossal Order and Paradox Interactive have done a great job with. So as you can see, uh, once you click on the Asset uh, Editor um, and you pick your uh, decor, I suppose, that's why I, uh, I chose the forest like I did, uh, It comes. this comes up here. So as you can see, um, you have intersections, you have parks, you have buildings, you have props, and you have trees. So these are the five core things you can edit. Now, some things you cannot edit through pure in-game means. So, like, right there, I clicked on the prop, and I had to import a base prop first in order to edit it. So, right there, I guess it's if you go through the game files or you create your own prop, you can save something, import it, and then tweak it from there. Um, we're going to go ahead and edit uh, a building. And so, so, right when I click on building, all of these categories come up. This is a little overwhelming, but what this essentially is, is you can edit any of these things. You can you can click on it, like, you know, water towers, power lines, um, certain uh, roundabouts. You can click on things and you can customize them as you see fit. I guess we'll get into how we can customize them in just a little bit. But so when I, I click on the residential building, as you can see, there's all sorts of sizes and styles and I guess a wealth or land values um, for each of these buildings. Um, you can load existing uh, props and, and decorations, I guess, that you have already. But we're going to go ahead and just click on the yeah the one by one uh, detach. So as you can see, this building it's a detached home, um, and it is a on a one by one plot. We can we can toy with I guess the lighting and there's a few other buttons up top. What do these do? Yeah, see, so there I guess if you want to tweak or see the lighting, you can see the the grid where it's selected. So from here, you can see the scale, you can pivot, you can, you can look around, see all the windows and siding and stuff. So I'm under the assumption that this one by one house right here would be the house that appears on a dirt road. And this is kind of like the basic core or one of the variations, I guess, of the core one by one uh, residential buildings that you would have along a dirt road. And as you can see, it looks like, a, you know, it's a shack with just siding. Um, wooden steps to get to to your front door. Um, you know, no no paving, uh, no parking area really. Uh, um, no no. I mean, it doesn't leave any space for the sidewalk or anything like that. So it definitely seems like it is uh, kind of a very basic building. So that slide around the bottom, I guess, um, changes the light rotation around the building. I guess if you want to get a certain look or or tweak things or things like that. And so uh, so right here, these are all of the elements in which we can uh, add more or less to our building so you can add roads look you can add like a gravel path and it's all within the area in which you can edit so these three tiles plus the tile for um the building this is where we can edit so i can add a gravel road now i mean if i add a gravel road and i save and export this asset the asset will will be the standard one by one building but instead it would it would have a gravel road in front instead of it being just grass leading up to um the house that's not bad i guess you can add all sorts of other types of floorings, like, uh, you know, ruined. Oh, there you go. So it's like trampled. Um, or, and then you, I guess you can uh, remove that or add as you see fit. Oh, look, you can add trees as well. And as you can see on the top, there is a, a limit. We have a 64 limit for trees and props. And as long as it's within the property, I can put as many props as long as it's equal to or less than 64. So that's interesting. Um, what else do we got here? We have billboards, special billboards. Okay, that's kind of cool. You can you can put billboards on stuff or anywhere in the property. I mean, I guess it wouldn't have a whole lot of use for a residential building. And they're definitely meant to put on walls. Yeah, like that. So, I mean, if I wanted to, I could put... Oh, yeah, put a funny billboard on the house. I mean, 
I, I guess I'm, I'm more so showing what you guys can do with the asset editor. And uh, like I mentioned before, uh, the developers did a great job uh, making everything so customizable and so moddable. I think that's uh, pretty important to the integrity of any sort of PC game, especially one as niche, I suppose, as a city builder. You know, really lets you um, get involved, uh, get creative, um, make your mark, I suppose, on the game. So we have special objects. I guess these are industrial ones. So we can put crates. Look, I can make a little obstacle course. <laughs> Some bushes and some crates, like bundles of sticks. Oh, look, so, some cable reels. Maybe I'll throw a couple there. It's also really neat that uh, for the asset editor, you can load it through the in-game menu. Um, and from there, see, as you can see right there, uh, it, these all add to my prop count. But it's really neat that you can select it through the in-game menu and from there, really just go to town. Just customize everything, uh, tweak anything as you see fit. So I guess here's some of the home stuff I can add. Uh, look, a uh, nice doggy house. Add a couple of those. And there's actually quite a few props, more than I anticipated. And what are these? Okay, so these are markers. Okay, so this is really cool. So the hang around marker is uh, when you put it on a property, all the people that visit that location will hang out in that area. So, so in that area right there, any family members, I guess, that go to this house under this mod, we'll go to that and hang out in that area on the front, in front of the the cable, uh, the the crates, and behind the the cable there. You can add parking spots for where cars can park and things like that. That's really neat. Oh, nice nice steam. Could put that on top of the house like it's generating steam. That's interesting. So uh, this, I so I assume. Uh, edits how long it takes for the property to be built. So the construction time def uh, by default is 30 seconds. I suppose maybe 30 seconds on the uh, medium speed for a building to be built. You can make that shorter or longer. And as you can see, um, you can also tweak the size of the property. So uh, there I, I, I switch it two by two here. I'm gonna switch it to three by two. There we go. So now I can add things alongside. I can add things uh, behind the house in front. Gives me a lot more room to play with. And it's, it's a way of, I guess, tweaking the standard um, shack built on a dirt road. You can tweak all the different color variations. So I guess by default, there are four color variations. When a, build, when a house or a building is built, it's going to be one of these variations. And we can kind of tweak it. Look, we can make it nice and red, this variation. Maybe this one we can make it a little different. Yeah, make it nice and green. So that's pretty neat. So it's a way of, I guess, changing it up. Like you can make four variations that were all one color, for instance. I would assume that means whenever that that house is built, it will always be that same color. There will be no variation. I mean, hey, it's whatever floats your boat, I guess. There's all sorts of stuff. You can tweak floor counts, um, different heights, the ground being offset. Um, I don't think that actually affects the height or anything of the building because the building has its own designation or its own class. But And I can demolish things as I see fit. So I guess that's more or less the asset editor in City Skylines. I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, and as you can see, you can save it. You can upload it to the workshop, the Steam Workshop. Um, yeah, there is Steam Workshop integration, rather. So you can upload your mods or your custom buildings and stuff and go from there. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I plan on having more City Skylines content.